Well, I usually keep backups of all my makeup items, so I have like a few in stock in case I run out or one decides to go missing. I'm really glad I did that because today I lost my foundation, so I had to open one of those. I lost the brow powder that I use, so I had to use another one of those. Then I lost my eyeliner. All in one day. I, I don't know where my makeup's at, but I'm so glad I have backups. So I want to explain to you guys how my vlogtober is going to work. So I'm recording a day in advance so I can get it edited and up. So today's Sunday and this video is going to go up on Monday. So today's kind of a lazy day. I'm not going to have a whole lot going on, but I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going to go through all my Stitch Fix stuff and ship it all back. I decided to keep one item from my box this month. So I've got that paid for and the rest of this I'm going to ship back. This cardigan, besides what I decided to purchase out of the box is one of my favorite things like it has so many colors a thing i would recommend is to keep every piece that you get when everything ships in case you decide that you don't want it they want you to return it in the same way that you received it in so and then there's just a sticker that was in the shoe it also came with like a custom little dust bag so that's fun bye friends all right, so I'm gonna go get a pumpkin spice latte. It's waiting for me at Starbucks, and then we're gonna go drop this package off, and then we're gonna have lunch. This is what happens when you always drive with your windows down, even when it's like two degrees and snowing because you're a crackhead. Yes, I've done that before. No, I'm not exaggerating. One thing I'm not gonna miss is the Utah drivers. I swear everybody gets their license from a Cracker Jack box and just doesn't know how to drive. And they're all idiots. They don't know what blinkers are. Honestly, I'd rather drive through Dallas any day. The traffic there is terrible, but Utah, I I'm done with it. I'm ready to go. All right, we got my coffee. Now we're headed to the post office. It's a pretty good sized package. This is the easiest way I ship packages. Done. Literally takes like two seconds and I'm used to dropping packages off all the time for Texan Boutique so yeah I'm I'm always the post office. Get a little graveyard girl sippy sippy in there. Let's roll. I'm actually supposed to broadcast well I'm supposed to do a guest appearance on somebody's live broadcast a little bit later today so hopefully you guys will tune into that. I will be sharing the link on my pages and such so you guys can tune in. Alright, so I'm headed home, I'm gonna go eat lunch, and I'm going to make a couple phone calls, and I will be back shortly. This guy just cut me off and almost hit my car. You'd think for an old man, they'd be able to drive and learn how to use a blinker and learn that when a lane ends, you don't just change, especially over a solid line. I hate Utah drivers more than anything. Prager brisket. Yum. Macaroni and brisket off the Traeger grill. I'm ready. This is going to be such a good look. This is a plus. Um, I got a pretty big box from my Stitch Fix and I will use that to pack. So that's good. My back hurts so much and I'm out of breath. <sighs> I have a giant pigsty that I'm trying to sort out and a ton of stuff that I'm just getting rid of. So I'm going to make a phone call and continue packing. Sundays are just so uneventful. Okay, so somebody bought me these and sent me them and they came from Canada and they're so beautiful. Um, I had like two of them that had raw it and so I cut them, gave them fresh water, fresh flower food and all these roses are like rotting and I'm so sad. I don't know what to do. Really though, how am I supposed to pack all of this stuff? That is just the top shelf, mind you. I've still got this. I've got some jewelry down here. I've got, yeah, what, blankets and stuff. More jewelry. There are not enough boxes in the world for this. I'm trying to fit everything into my car, which I'm pretty certain I can do, but... I don't want to rent a trailer because it's just a pain in the butt. So I've got a good portion of things packed up and I have a ton of stuff sorted out. You know that time of year when it gets to be like 5, 6, 7 p.m. and it's pitch black outside? Yeah. We're there and I hate it. 
It is now like 11 p.m. and I spent all evening packing up my room and cleaning and throwing things away and getting things ready to just be given away to friends and things to be sold and blah 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 blah. My shop has been updated so if you guys follow along with Texan Boutique, um, there's a lot more items on there tonight. Give myself a trim because my split ends were just like not having it. So yeah, give myself a haircut and I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.